before we can start modeling, we have to download Papyrus. Let's do this. We go to our internet browser and we go to eclipse.dev slash papyrus. When there, we go to downloads, scroll a little bit down until we see in that case, the 64 bit version for Windows. We click on download and here again on download and download the latest version. Then we wait until the download is finished. In the meantime, I will show you something. When you enter OMG, ah, we do not need this here, OMG SysML, and you go to the main page of OMG SysML, and there, when loaded, you see here something like SysML specification. We click on that, then we click on read more. There we go to SysML specifications. And when there, we are on the specification page of SysML. In that case, take care, this is the SysML version V. 2.0 or 2.0, oh, better. And in our term, we scroll a little bit down until we see the latest published version. This is October 2023. And we click on that. And then here we see the link to the specification. When you clicked on that, you can scroll through the specification document of SysML. Here, everything you must, you must, you may interest in SysML, you can read it here. This guideline is, yeah, this document guideline, the specification is quite, quite comprehensive and often not so easy to understand and read. And in addition, since SysML, at least the versions below 2.0 or 2.0 are derived from SysML, uh, from UML, you also have to check sometimes the UML document if here is some kind of information missing. Anyway, when something, some model elements in SysML are unclear, feel free to check this SysML specification. An alternative is to buy a SysML book, which is often a short version of this comprehensive document and also written in a much simpler and more re readable form. But anyway, this document here, depending on the SysML version you're using, is always the single source of truth. Fine. Our download is finished. This means we can close the window, unzip Papyrus and start modeling.